It's truly majestic, isn't it, Grimcam? Okay then, I guess I'll get to work. There has been some major cleanup taking place on the Stonecraft server's shopping district. We are taking care of business here, and I have made an even bigger shop, remodeled for the first time. One of the best things that I think I've ever made, a uh, giant anvil. And we also are getting rid of some of the defunct shops in the district, which haven't been running for three months or more. Nothing personal, but we just need to make space for new people who may be joining the server in the next three months or so as we move into 1.17 update. Well, everybody, that's a really short uh, tour of what I just built, my new digs, my new establishment here. It is still the grimoire, but uh, it uh, mainly is just netherite. Come get your netherite. <laughs> So yeah, I am really proud of what we're doing on Spawn Island, as I just said a second ago. But uh, today I wanted to show you what we're doing on the server together, collaboratively. We are working on a PvP district, and I wanted to go down there and check out the progress that's been made so far. This beautiful western tunnel. I'm really happy that all but one of our nether tunnels is formed now. Oh my gosh, and I forgot that night just took out all the blocks that were up there in the bedrock and it just gives us this nice texture. That's that's quite a bit of blackstone there. And I think, I wonder if all of the blackstone that I brought over here got placed. Oh wow. It did. <laughs> this is our new PvP district, the new PvP island. Stone wanted to completely cover it in blackstone, and it looks like we need maybe you know, 15 or so more shulkers. But oh my gosh, just look at how much of the island has been transformed here. It is pretty magnificent. It reminds me of Mustafar. I think we are going for a very vader look to it. And oh my gosh, I'm really loving this Colosseum build. This is like some Roman times stuff. This is going to be pretty baller. I'm excited. I... I'm wondering if this is a reference to anything in particular, but I don't think so. Maybe I'm... Wow. How did that happen? How did I fall through the fence? Let's put that... <laughs> wow. Well, that's some content for you, folks. So that's pretty much it for the PvP district. It's not quite ready yet, but it's on its way. But really, what I think for this episode needs to happen is I need to make a contribution to an existing district. I haven't really come up with a game yet, but I was thinking that I would take a beat on the video for a second, go to the drawing board and try to come up with something and come back to you a little bit later. So after a rather short period of deliberation, I've come up with a pretty good idea of what I want to do for the mini game. It is something I said earlier, which I thought was a little bit funny, but blue ball. It's basically just using the ender pearls. Um, they look like little blue orbs, and you're trying to get on top of this pillar with a cauldron on top of it. Um, it's quite hard to do. I've spent some time doing it already, but I wanted to test it a little bit off screen to just make sure that it was viable. Now, this court isn't really designed for it quite yet. I might have to remodel this, but uh, I'm also going to do a better version in the actual gaming district. But the essential idea is that you're using your ender pearls to try to get on top of that. And I could try like this, for instance. I could try to throw it like generally on an angle here but that's probably gonna take me yeah the randomness is a little bit off so it's possible i think though to get up there i just would, would give a very high reward for a longer distance and i don't know if i would include anything like this um but i would also make it so that the number of times that you threw had an had some sort of factor but in theory you could I would allow people to, I, I don't know, I have to figure out the, the rules. <laughs> but I was thinking in theory that you could allow people to continue to try from a certain zone, like this far back. I don't know how many blocks this is, it's roughly like, I don't know, like 20 some blocks. It's it's a work in progress, but it's, it's something. And I hope to fully flesh this out by the end of the episode. I'm working on it still, folks. After a few hours of careful deliberation, I think I've got a pretty solid idea for a game here. Keep in mind, though, that this is prototypical. What I've got going here is an Ender Pearl game that you are... The object is to try to get on that center iron trapdoor, and it's pretty tough. Um, or, if you can, you can get 
uh, probably a the second to uh, highest number of points from getting inside this cauldron. So if I were to try to throw this, okay, see, even then I didn't quite make it, but you can see how I got pretty close to falling in this cauldron, and I'm just a hair underneath the uh, the trap door here. So basically, I'm thinking about how it might be easier to actually get up there from like, nope. <laughs> Even from here, it's pretty difficult. Um, but in theory, you should be able to angle it just perfectly. But you have to just go slightly off center here. It's very hard to actually land on top of the central trapdoor, and I think it's even harder when you have to try to do it from back here, because clearly I'm, I keep overshooting it. And I also think that this will be a clever way to generate ender mites on the server while also getting rid of all of those ender eyes at, uh, at the ender ender. I just haven't really come up with a specific uh, point system yet, so stay tuned for that. But this is my game idea. And it also creates a really cool shadow with shaders. I like that. It's like the all-seeing eye. Well, now I'm going to shift gears a little bit, though, and we're going to do a time lapse of me doing some work on my base. Because I haven't done a time lapse in a while, and I think that while I do my base building on Thursday night um, on Twitch, I'm going to run replay mod at the same time, and that will allow me to maximize my workflow. So without further ado, here's some base building progress. folks that's all i really have for this week's episode i hope you enjoyed the remodeling i did and just remember that if you want to catch the remodeling i do on my base as i do it you can always tune in on thursday nights at 8 30 p.m uh it is a 18 plus mature audiences only stream because i do curse sometimes but other than that it's not really that bad so i would say that it's if you're okay with that it's it's bordering on friend family friendly <laughs> Uh, at any rate, that's where you can catch me on Twitch, Raw Evil Gaming, uh, the same as on YouTube, and, uh, I've been Grimgar for this particular video series. Uh, that's basically all I do on YouTube is this the Grimgar character in my Minecraft worlds. Subscribe if you'd like to, and stay tuned for more content. Bye! That was kind of copying Grian, wasn't it? A little bit. <laughs> Take it easy, and stay evil. Okay. Yeah. That's what I mean. Where did that come from? Any ledge? Ah, I think he could have spawned on top of that thing. That would make sense. So we will hang a light here. Ow, 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 ow. MVTP lab. <laughs> I didn't have any 